Hi, I'm John Caesar with Caesar Chimney Service in Manchester, New Hampshire, and I'm also the current Vice President of the Chimney Safety Institute of America. Today we're going to talk about flue tiles. These are two examples of clay flue tiles you find inside most masonry chimneys. The idea behind these is this is the passageway inside the chimney that all of the byproduct vents through to get up into the atmosphere. But we're going to talk about wood specifically today. If you're burning a fireplace or a wood stove and you have wood smoke going through the chimney, the idea is you want that smoke to vent up and out as fast as it can. The slower it goes up the chimney, the colder it gets on the way, it starts sticking all the way up. What happens if smoke can cool too much is you get a flue tile like this. This is an example of grade three creosote. It's very slick, it's almost tar-like, and as you can see, it's actually adhered itself to the tile and it's very hard to remove. Other times, if you get a lot of creosote buildup, it won't get to that point, but it can ignite, causing a chimney fire. A chimney fire can get upwards of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and what most people don't know about flue tiles is they are not designed to withstand that amount of sudden increase in temperature. But it doesn't actually take 2,000 degrees to crack a flue tile. These flue tiles are not designed to withstand any kind of an increase rapidly in temperature, where the inside of the, the tile heats up faster than the outside. So today, we're gonna do an experiment to show what thermal shock is, which is where the inside of the tile will heat up faster than the outside. So, as you can see, this is a brand new tile. We just got it from the quarry. It's never seen a fire. It's got no tar, no creosote, no nothing inside of it. And all we're gonna do is put in a few pieces of newspaper which definitely aren't going to get over 2,000 degrees. And we're going to see what happens if you introduce a rapid increase in heat to the inside of a tile. Well, that should be enough. actually cracked on this side for the camera around. So just from burning a few pieces of newspaper, you can see that this tile has split from top to bottom. Now as this cools down, because this is still kind of hot as the fire is starting to die out, as this cools down, you're going to see this crack close back up to the point that when we look inside, the crack is almost not even going to be visible to the naked eye. But every time this chimney heats up, that crack opens more, closes, opens. Sometimes when we do this experiment, the flue tile will completely explode, not just crack down the side of it. This crack is dangerous because now every time you get creosote and smoke building up inside of a chimney, it can now get outside of the flue system. And we find chimneys all the time, creosote running down the outside of the flue, cooling inside the chimney. And if that explodes, you've essentially got a bomb on your hands. 
So these clay flute tiles need to be inspected every year. Whether you use them every night, whether you use them once in a while, we need to inspect them, check them, sweep them, get as much creosote out as possible to make sure that stuff like this doesn't happen.